guys, so today I'm doing my updated skincare routine. You guys have been asking me all the time to do that and I finally got around to doing it. Um, my last skincare routine video was probably September, October last year and at that time I was experimenting with some new products and stuff but I like the way that my skincare routine is now because it's a lot simpler, a lot less products and they're all quite effective. I have dry skin, very dry skin. I don't tend to get many spots or acne or anything like that but I do suffer from um, pigmentation, from dry patches, from flakiness on my skin. I can't guarantee that it will work for anyone but it does work for me. So I'll show you the products. So the first thing that I put on my face after I wash my face and clean my teeth is the Eucerin Even Brighter Spot Corrector. This is part of a bigger um, sort of collection that I will show more products. You apply this where you have pigmentation, hyperpigmentation on your skin. So if you have those sunspots, age spots, dark spots on your face and you want to sort of lighten them, then you apply this. Um, and only where you have the discoloration. I think it's recommended to apply it twice a day, but I only apply it once a day. I have a couple of dark spots on my face around my cheeks here. I've got a couple of sunspots that are getting bigger and bigger as I get older, which is not great. And I also have a bit of darkness around my mouth. So what I've been doing is, you can see the little dome applicator, you just dab this wherever you have the pigmentation, wait for it to dry and then follow with your day cream. Now the day cream that I've been wearing is the same one from the range, Eucerine Even Brighter Day Cream and this is the Pigment Reducing Day Cream SPF 30 and that's what I love the most about this cream is that it has SPF in it so I don't have to worry about putting a foundation with SPF in it. In terms of consistency this cream is very thick and very sticky which is not something that I like particularly. If you follow up with makeup you don't want your face to feel like all sticky and everything but I've found that this keeps my face moisturized all day long. The stickiness goes away and if it doesn't go away I generally apply less product to just just enough to cover my face a little bit with moisture. The cream is a white paste so when you put it on your face it looks as though it's um, like bringing your face one shade lighter but then if you blend it in properly it just sinks into the skin quite easily but it does brighten my face a lot my face doesn't look as dull as it used to and I'm absolutely loving this cream I use it every day either when I'm, I'm having a no makeup day or when I'm having a makeup day so if I'm applying makeup I'll usually apply this 15 minutes before I have to apply my makeup just to give it time to sink into the skin and then I follow with foundation and my foundation looks absolutely flawless it doesn't cling onto my dry patches it doesn't look oily it just looks nice and glowy so let me know if you'd like to see my favorite foundations as well I think a few of you have asked um, for me to do that and yes I have quite a few foundations that I've been loving at the moment. Then during the daytime when I'm at home I usually like to keep a hand cream near my sink where I do all the washing up and things like that. I know it sounds very boring and it is very boring but doing the washing up can um, dry out your hands and just ruin them a little bit and I always like to keep a pot of this, a trick so enriched moisture moisturizing cream it sinks into the skin really well doesn't make your your hands feel greasy or anything like that it's just a really good um, hand cream I think you can get it from Boots for about two pounds or something it's not that expensive and yeah so I keep that near my sink for whenever I'm doing any sort of housework and throughout the day I like to apply a bit of my Carmex lip balm um, on my lips if my lips are feeling really dry sore or chapped or anything I always keep one of these with me I have one near my bed on my bedside table I have one in my handbag and I have one on my dressing table just because I always need it and this one in particular is the Mint Moisturising Lip Balm. So now moving on to removing makeup, on my laziest days I've been reaching for the Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials Fragrance Free Facial Cleansing Wipes. And this is for all skin types, 100% perfume free and removes even waterproof mascara. Now I'm very fussy when it comes to makeup remover wipes. I've tried so many and I always go back to the same ones and even 
Within the same brand, there's some I like, some I don't like. The Johnson's range is the best for me. I've tried this one, which is for all skin types. I've tried one, which is the blue package, which is for dry skin, and I hated it. It just made my skin really oily. Instead of like moisturizing, it was really, really oily and greasy, and I hated it. And then there's a pink pack, which I don't know um, what, it is, what it is for, and those are my favorites, all-time favorites. Whenever I see them, I always buy two or three packs to keep it with me. And yeah, I just really like them. They're really moisturizing. For a cleansing wipe, this is really good for removing makeup. And yeah, I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I do remove my makeup with this. But they're really good as well if you want to remove the bulk of your makeup with them and then use, use a proper cleanser to remove the rest of it. So I do recommend these a lot. My firm favorite makeup remover is the Lizelle Cleansing Polish Hot Cloth cleanser. I've used this for nearly a year now and I keep buying it whenever I run out and I'll keep buying it until I'm old and wrinkly because it's just absolutely amazing. It removes everything, every trace of makeup. Very easy to do which is probably the biggest, the unique selling point of this is that it does remove all your makeup but it doesn't take a long time. It doesn't make a mess, it doesn't, it's just easy. So yeah I use this with a muslin cloth and I just wipe everything off my face, polish it off and then my skin feels really soft and clean. This is a brand new one that I bought two weeks ago and until before I bought that I'd run out of it. It had been about three months that I didn't have this on me and I was going crazy because I didn't have this. So whilst I couldn't get this I got something else from Boots which I saw like in the shelf, it was just like a spur of the moment kind of thing. I thought I'd try it. Um, I hadn't read any reviews about it. I hadn't heard anything about it. And I bought it and it's the L'Oreal Skin Perfector 15 Second Miracle Oil um, Cleansing Oil. It's an oil, so it's different from the Lizzo Cleansing Polish because that's more of a creamy texture. What it says here is that you basically apply two or three pumps onto your dry skin and then you massage it onto your face and it removes even waterproof makeup. I've heard other people saying that they use this with a muslin cloth and I, I'm yet to try that way. I find that this is really good in terms of removing makeup but it does make a mess. When you're putting water on your face and you've got already this oil all over your face it turns into like a milky consistency and it starts to drip and drop all over your face and neck and everything and if you're ready to go to bed if you've just had a shower and everything the last thing you want is to be getting all greasy and you know grubby um, so that's my only problem with this is that when I use it with my hands it seems like a bit of a faff. I do like this, it does remove all of the makeup quite easily and the good thing about it is, is you don't need anything so if you're traveling and you've got only this, you don't have a muslin cloth, you don't have um, wet wipes and you don't have like cotton pads or anything you can just use your fingers. Then after my face is really nice and cleansed I apply my favorite eye serum which is the YSL Forever Youth Liberator Eye Zone Serum and I've been using this as well for quite some time for about seven or eight months now and it's just really really good. It's one of those products that you almost don't want it to be good because it's so expensive and you just don't want to keep buying it but it's really good. It works for me. I'm on my late 20s now and I'm trying to look after my skin a bit better in terms of using anti-aging stuff and not just stuff to moisturize my skin because I used to think that the only problem I had with my skin was because it was dry but now that I'm getting a bit older the anti-aging stuff is doing a good job. Then to finish it up I use my Eucerine Even Brighter Night Cream which is from the same range as the Day Cream and the Spot Corrector thing and this one is a lot thicker and a lot creamier, creamier than the Day Cream and it doesn't have SPF. It's not scented so if you're sensitive to smells, that won't be a problem for you. It does wonders to my skin. I wake up and my skin is so moisturized, a lot brighter, and it, it just feels like I've had um, a facial. I've been using these three together for about two weeks now, um, every single day, and I've noticed that my pigmentation is a lot better. So the dark spots that I've got around my cheeks are barely noticeable. And before it used to be that even with concealer and makeup you could see it, but now I am quite happy with the way it looks. Last but not least, I have my favourite hand cream for nighttime, which is the 
Kath Kidston hand cream. It smells amazing, so nice and fresh and clean. And the reason why I use this instead of my Atrixo hand cream for the night time is because this is thicker and I usually don't like anything which is too thick and creamy on my hands so this one is a lot thinner and more appropriate for the daytime so that's everything for my skincare routine I'm really happy with the amount of products that I have on my skincare at the moment I know I'm probably lacking on the sort of toner department I'm not using any toners at the moment but I just don't feel as though my skin needs it as much now when it does need it I will invest in a good toner. It's very simple, it takes me less than three minutes to get all my creams ready to go to bed which is great. If you're a busy bee and you find that you're lacking on your skincare because you just don't have time for it, try and whittle it down to a few products but ones that really work and that's what I've been doing and that's what's working for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you did, give it a thumbs up, let me know if you use any of the products I use or if you have any recommendations for me or for anyone, just leave it on the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!